Well, hello everyone. I'm Amelia Bowerly and I'm the product designer on Monitor Health. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about how we introduce alert management into GitLab and the SIG group that we use to research and to test our designs. Before I dive into the designs, I wanted to take a step back just to do a quick reminder of who the Monitor Health Group is. Um, officially, the Health Group helps DevOps teams respond to triage and fix both errors and alerts for the systems and apps they maintain, which is kind of a mouthful. Um, but in plain English, that basically means that we tell people when their stuff is broken. And then we help them figure out what's gone wrong so they can get everything working again as quickly as possible. Uh, as a group, we plan to int introduce three new product categories in 2020. Status page, alert management, and digital experience management, which will include synthetic monitoring. And that's a whole lot of new stuff, uh, which is why I included a little, uh, a little um, video of me panic breathing. In Q Q1, we tackled the MVC for status page, which we talked a little bit about in a previous showcase, so I won't talk about it today. Um, that's already live, um, but next on our list of things to tackle is alert management. So alerts already did exist in GitLab, sort of. Uh, you can make an alert from the charts in the metrics dashboard. You can also receive alerts from Prometheus. Um, previously, any alerts we received, we just automatically created issues for, for, but we didn't have a single place where the people, where people could see the alerts they had set and received or fine tune them at all. There wasn't any cohesive workflow when it came to receiving, investigating, and resolving alerts within GitLab. To do any of these things, people had to utilize other tools, which meant their customers were having to triage alerts outside of GitLab and then come back into GitLab to make the required code changes to address the alert. This meant tons of context switching for users in what's already a super stressful situation, which is obviously not ideal in any way. It's also a really great opportunity for us to improve an existing pain point for our users. So we realized we needed to come up with a, a real comprehensive plan for how alerts would be displayed, investigated, and resolved from within GitLab. And in order to figure out how this could work and look, we wanted to better understand our customers' workflows with regards to alerts. So we wanted to know things like, what tools do they use? What does their workflow look like? Would it make sense to have this workflow exist entirely within GitLab? And so we realized we needed to talk to people, but the question quickly became, who do we even talk to? we quickly realized that people in large enterprise companies likely already have tools that they use for alerts and for incident management more generally. It's unlikely, therefore, that we'd be able to get these sorts of customers to switch over to GitLab and use a tool that's in its early stages of development. It'd be too risky for them. But we also have customers that fall under the small to medium-sized business category, SMB customers, and these companies likely have less well-defined processes and they're less invested in specific tools. They might actually not even have any tools available to them all at all currently. And with customers falling into this group, we might have more of an opportunity to get them to try out our product offerings and give us feedback on them. So if we can access SMB customers, we could potentially get them to use our features even at early stages of development. So with that in mind, we decided to recruit a group of SMB customers to form a special interest group or SIG. Our hope was that we could work with them to build an alerts platform that they could start using for alerts and for incident management immediately. In our minds, this group could serve two purposes. It gave us an easy way to get quick feedback on feature proposals and it would give us a test group of real life customers who could theoretically start dogfooding our new alert features like right away which is super exciting. So we went about recruiting the SIG um, and our SIG group has five members. And after we recruited them, we started having conversations with them about how they worked. So we asked them things like, how are you notified that something's gone wrong? 
where are your alerts sent if you're even getting alerts? What, tool, what tools are you using for your alerts currently? Maybe you're not even using any tools. What's the workflow from the moment the alert is received to the moment it's resolved? And then what's the relationship between an alert and an incident? When does an alert become an incident? These were all the things we had kind of questions around um, and that we wanted some insights into. So in talking to the SIG group, we learned a ton about their current workflows and we identified a real gap in them. Our SMB customers were trying to link together a bunch of different tools to surface and triage their alerts, but it wasn't really working that great. In particular, we heard that investing, investigating alerts in multiple tools is disorienting and overwhelming. Much of the work they were doing was manual and repetitive. They were experiencing alert fatigue, stress, and low morale. More importantly, we realized that by bringing the entire alert triage workflow into GitLab, we could help these customers address these problems. So on the screen, you can see a couple quotations from users that communicate their stresses around alerts and their struggles with managing multiple tools. Like the one on the top left, I, I take it personally when code isn't working as it should be or when my team introduce a bug that's causing trouble. It's, it feels very personally stressful. And the one, the quotation right below, um, when we asked, how do you manage alerts between different tools, the, the person we were talking to actually just started laughing and he said, I manage as best I can, but I can't say I have a good system for that. Uh, and then in the sort of diagram on the right, you can see overwhelmingly um, when we talked to people, they described their firefights, which is the process for responding to and triaging alerts, managing incidents are stressful and manual, overwhelmingly for people. So this presents us obviously a real uh, great opportunity to improve the experience for, for our users. So since we had a decent sense of what the current workflow was for our SMB customers, we started as a design discovery issue to ideate about the new workflow within GitLab. I started by doing some initial investigation into other tools available for helping people manage their alerts. And I initially reviewed uh, Big Panda, Moogsoft, which I hope I'm pronouncing correctly, um, Ops Genie Alerts, and Splunk Alert Manager. And the, there's a link to the competitive analysis in the slides if you want to check it out after. Um, I then went through and mapped out the different features each tool had and identified the features all or at least most of the tools had in common. And I learned that most of the tools had some sort of alert correlation abilities, saying all of these alerts are probably related to the same thing. They had a list view of all the alerts that allowed people to search through and find specific alerts, notifications, the ability to leave comments or notes on the alerts featured as well. And most tools also seem to offer some sort of dashboard to get an overview of the alerts they received and of the time that it took to resolve them. So based on the features that were present in the competitors products and the features and pages that already existed in GitLab around alerts and our SIG groups current workflows, I mapped out a workflow for alerts within GitLab. I also broke this workflow down into several different iterations so we could start thinking about what sort of functionality could be present in an MVC and what could come later. So the diagrams you're seeing here helped me to better understand what we had now, um, really wrap my head around that and what we needed to build and when. After doing all that initial investigation, we came up with a basic list and detailed view for alerts within GitLab, which you can see on the screen now. This new functionality would allow users to display their alerts from various monitoring tools directly within GitLab. They could search through the alerts, triage them, and escalate them to an incident issue if they required an additional investigation. So essentially, we we're taking very small steps towards bringing the entire workflow for our customers into GitLab. Um, of course, since this is a super new feature, we also wanted to do some validation of our ideas. So we went back to the SIG group um, to show them the designs we had created. And I sort of want to take a moment to call out how amazing it was to actually be able to do this and to do so with so little effort. We didn't have to re-recruit people or sort through a large list of respondees to find just the right people to talk to. Well, we already had people we could talk to, and this was a huge time saver for us. We knew 
we knew who we could ask. So in terms of solution validation, we specifically wanted to see if what we were proposing aligned with their needs and if it would be something that they could use within their organization. We had a ton of great feedback. And overwhelmingly, our SIG group said these features would be a useful addition to their workflow. They also gave us a ton of suggestions for how to continue building our alert offering in the future by helping us understand what actions they would want to take from both the list and the detailed views. So with their feedback, we, re re we revised the designs and started building and releasing them in 13.0. And we also added much more detail to our plans to 13.1 and 13.2 based on the feedback we received during these sessions. So where are we at now and what are our next steps? Um, alert management is now in GitLab, which is very exciting. Uh, a good chunk of alert management minimal was released in 13.0. Um, many more features will be introduced in 13.1 and 13.2. Um, we're continuing to get feedback from the SIG group. Our plan is to meet with them synchronously monthly and to start pinging them asynchronously on issues when we have small things that we need feedback on. Now, we also held our first simulation day on June 4th with our SRE teams. Um, simula simulation day is what we're calling it. Sometimes it's called game days and other organizations. And the goal is to simulate a real incident and the response to it. Um, we kind of wanted to see if and how the alert system we've built either does or does not meet our SRE team's needs for triaging alerts. Um, Last week was our very first one, and all of the functionality was new and sort of in an MVC state. So in total honesty, like our first, it, our first simulation day felt a little bit more like a demo of what we could do than an actual simulation of an incident, but we are planning to do these monthly from here on out. And as we add more features, our SRE teams will actually be able to use our tools in a more real way. So I anticipate that we're going to continue to get really great feedback from these simulation days and it will really help us to improve our offering. Then as we always do at GitLab, we'll continue iterating based on feedback from the simulation days, our SIG groups, and from you know, everyone out in the world who can now use alert management in GitLab now that it's live. So that's all I had, um, and definitely let me know if you have questions, uh, either in Slack or after this call, I'd love to chat more. Um, recently chatted with Andy about how um, alerts and vulnerabilities, how they're pretty similar and how we can make sure that the experiences are aligned. Uh, and I imagine there's other opportunities like that um, with other designers. So if you see things in here that are similar to what you're working on, I'd certainly love, love to chat. But that's that's all I have. Are there any questions or should I hand it over to the next person? Sounds like I should hand it over to the next person. I'll stop stop sharing. <laughs>